Um, the purpose of an admissibility test to a French AQ course is to ensure that the student has the competencies in French language, most, mostly written, but also speaking, um, to be able to, with success, complete the assignments of the course. These courses are in depth. Um, they demand not only knowledge of how to teach French, but how to express yourself in a ped pedagogical uh, language. So the test starts with a reading um, and a writing uh, sections, and if the student is, if the candidate is successful on those two sections, then they are invited to do an oral exam. So a rubric was established through um, professionals at Lakehead University, um, and, and this is not a rigorous DELF test, but we were really looking towards um, a level three or a 75% on this test or 70% on this test that matched or was similar to the rigors of a DELF assessment. So if you're preparing for the test, you can check online, B2 equivalencies, what you need to be able to do, and that will give you some indica indication. It is not a formal DELF test, but it is set up to emulate, I guess, the competencies that the DELF would require. You know you're ready for this test when you have gone online and you've done some research as to what is required to a DELF. You've prepared yourself because you've been living in French throughout, for, <laughs> throughout certain years or for several years. Um, you feel competent writing and speaking and understanding written French. Again, you can best prepare for any French competency tests or any language competency test by doing your best to live in the language. That means accessing um, resources to view, to listen to, to read, and more difficult, more difficulty, with more difficulty is finding someone with whom to interact with in French at a high level. Um, maybe Francophone family members or you join some kind of online chat where people are actually talking in French and not just about the weather themselves.